It's 20 years now since uh, we first set foot in the, the Wood End Barn, where we are now. And uh, myself and Davey, uh, first of all, got involved with a community play here in 1992. And it involved the whole community, really, of Bankery and Krathis. But uh, we needed somewhere to rehearse, and we didn't have anywhere big enough for, for everybody to be working uh, on all the different aspects of the show. So the idea came about to, to use the, the barn. Now at that time, this was just a, a, a rough cow shed. It had no floor in it. It was just a, 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 literally a cow shed. So we all moved in and uh, camped in the field and uh, spent a couple of months working here and put the show together. And from there, the idea came to maybe make this into a, a, a permanent art space. And now here we are, 20 years later, and isn't it such a fantastic facility that we, that we have? Um, so what we're going to do to celebrate the event is we're putting together an evening uh, of musical entertainment um, featuring lots of different artists who have performed at the barn over the years, uh, including um, Mr. Davy Catanay and myself, um, Brian McAlpine from Session A9, uh, Douglas and Brian from Saltfish 40, Mary McMaster from the Poozies playing harp, uh, fantastic musician and singer, and um, that's about it. Stevie Webb. And Steve Webb. We have a local actor who may be involved doing some narration um, because we've been working on some stories, some local uh, legends and ghost stories, um, and trying to cre uh, create songs and tunes using them as, as the inspiration, which has been a lot of fun. And Davey's been working on, on, a, on a song or two. Yeah, I've been... Uh, uh, working on this book, this Fenton Wines book, which is packed with short stories, which are perfect for turning into songs. And uh, so far, I've written about four, but one of them has made it to the being recorded stage. And uh, it's called Witch of Findrack. It's about this unfortunate lady, Helen Rogie, that got just walking home past the wrong person one day. And, Cut a long story short, she was accused of being a witch because the guy's wife broke her leg and then he lost her, his child, about six months later. So it was obviously all Helen Rogie's fault. Anyway, and she was burned at the stake in Aberdeen, strangled and burned on the heading hill. Ghastly end. Yeah. So it's full of stories like that that are really typically Scottish, you know, no happy endings, <laughs> death abounding everywhere, you know. And most of the stories are, are very local. Uh, to, to, the, to the area. There's legends about the Lady of Lees uh, from Crathis Castle. There's, there's what, one story about uh, the Knights Templar from, from over in uh, Mary, Mary Cooter, Cooter just yeah. down the road. Uh, Lumfannon, Turfins, up as far as Brimar. Um, there's some great stories. So we're trying to bring them all to life. But in order to do that, uh, we're trying to finance the project by using crowdfunding, where people pledge their support uh, towards either buying an album, a copy of the CD in advance, or we're offering various um, prizes. Uh, people can come along um, to the recording studio and watch some of the creative process going on there. There's also going to be uh, master classes on fiddle, and Mary's going to be doing one on harp. And we're also going to be having a reception before the concert uh, in, in September. So if you pledge your support, it's going to help the whole thing uh, to happen.